afternoon guys so it's another time where we're getting out on the bank um, new venue again good more fisheries we're fishing at Volca um, never fished here before so again new venue you know somewhere I've not tried so it'll be good to have a little look and see what it's like um, been keeping an eye on it the past couple of weeks and at Volca, the lake that we're on, we're not really, I've not seen much cats reports coming from there. Tara, Adelaide and George has all seem to be fishing well at the moment. So hopefully at Volca can switch on. Um, we're there for three nights, me and my brother and my mates joining us tomorrow for two nights. So a little bit of a social as well, so hopefully we can get three consecutive pegs and we can have, you know, a little bit of a social and Hopefully a couple of fish on the bank. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be leaving here about two, we're getting there for set hopefully getting there for an hour four ish. Um so once I'm there and I'm set up and everything, I'll show you what peg I've decided to fish and show you what baits I'm fishing on and what I'm targeting. I think this time I'm gonna target both carp and cats. So hopefully, you know, one of us can put a nice carp or a cat on the bank and we can have a bit of a good social and fingers crossed for a good vlog as well. Be back to you soon, guys. Take it easy. People, so we're here set up on the bank. Say hi, Scott. How do So we're on at Volca on Cudmore. Um, we've jumped onto peg two for now. Um, the two of us have doubled up. Um, there's someone on one, three. Um, we made dad's here, he's over on peg five, and then there's someone on peg ten. Um, so I'm gonna give the first 24 hours a shot on peg two, and um, the lads on one and three are going tomorrow. So we'll see how we get on and possibly switch to peg one or three um, tomorrow, depending on how things go. So we've got the rods out now, um, within what we say. Five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. Maybe within five minutes of getting here, um, I had the run on my right hand rod. Um, got to the rod, not on. Um, about, what, ten minutes later? Is that? Yeah, not ten ago. minutes later, same again, got to it, not on. So I've bought it in, checked the hook and everything, everything is sharp. Um, so I'll put it back out on a little bit of a mesh bag and fingers crossed. So. Any, anything through the night guys, we'll give it a shout, if not, I'll um, come back in the morning and give you an update where we're up to and what the plans of attack are. See you soon guys. Morning guys. It's, what time is it now? Uh, I think it's just about 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Just on our first 24 hours. Oh, um, 24. Woke up, 6 o'clock to my alarms. It took me nearly half an hour to get the fish in. And I'm happy to say, new PB, cat, 77.9. What a fish. Honestly, I couldn't be any happier, guys. And, I have to put my coat on at the minute and my clothes, they, they stink. Cacked all over me and everything. Um, but it was worth it. So, I got that on um, a double 10 mil Manila Boilies. Um, so, guys, absolutely buzzing. So what I'm going to do now is just put my rods back out. So I'm going to um, clean myself up a little bit. Chill. And I'll... Be back to you soon. Fingers crossed with another fish. Come on. 
6 o'clock in the morning. The Wim woke up. He thinks he's into a cat. In fact, it's pretty much certain he's into a cat. Doesn't think it feels too big, but it's giving him a nice fucking run around. I've had to bring one of my rods in because it's ran through one of mine. He's had to bring his other rod in because it's ran through his other rod. Right. Oh, I'll get the console. <laughs> Guys, 77. Point nine, absolute beast. Ah. Ah. Tell I've not been in the gym for a while. I can't fucking lift it. Let's get him back in here. So, um, mid afternoon now, second day for us. Um, just waiting for Kev to get here, and by the looks of things, the lads on Peg One, <coughs> they've, they've left now. So, what I've done is Kev's going to jump onto Peg One when he gets here. So, we'll give him a hand setting up and see where he's going to decide to fish. Um, I've had to still out there with blood and on us. There's been a couple of fish out, um, with the lad facing me, I'm not too sure of his name, I think it could be Mike. Um, he's managed to have an 80, uh, what do you have, 78 pound 6 cat, um, a couple of hours after I had the one you've just seen. And the lads on Peg One, they've had a couple of carp out this morning too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's you know the lake starting to pick up a little bit, and we can see plenty more fish on the bank. So what I'll do is once Kev sets up and you know, we'll settle down, and if there's any more fish on the bank, we'll get back to you. See you soon, guys. Sorry guys, so my ugly bush again. Uh, it's just a quick one. Just want to do a little video. Obviously, why I'm doing my vlog. Um, so when I'm doing these vlogs, it's not all about just me fishing and things like that. I'm happy and I'm buzzing when I see other people on the lake catching. You know, whether it be the people who are with or other people. So when I was saying before about the lad across the way on peg ten. Uh, Mike his name is, so I spoke to him and his name is Mike, you know, I'm buzzing with the fish he had, so with his permission, I've gone over, I've spoke to him, I've told him I'm doing vlog and everything, and he said it's alright, obviously give him a mention, uh, Mike there, and I'm going to attach his pictures of the fish he had as well, you know, he's had a good session, he's been on since Monday, um, he's had four carp and that absolute monster of a cat at 78.6, I'm not going to go into what he was catching on because that's not for me to tell, obviously. You know, if he, if he sees this video and he wants to drop it in the comments, then by all means, you know, he, he can. But, um, yeah, so, just want to say, like, you know, other people catching is, is boss. You know, even when you're not catching yourself sometimes, just seeing others catching. And it's good to just see other people, like yourself, getting out and 
having a go and a bit of time on the bank. So, before any snowflakes fucking start, yes, I've asked my permission. I can't post those pictures. So, before you get any little divvies jumping on. Um, yeah, so I'll let you get back to the video and hopefully we'll have something, something more exciting to put into it. See you soon. o'clock it's our third day um, unfortunately no more fish on the bank at the moment for us um, Scott had a run through the night on his jig he had it on for you know, five or ten minutes and come off ne never snapped him just just off pulled um, I think sometimes with fish and barber sucks that's the problem we tend to have but it is what it is, so he, he, he's, back. he's gone back out there, still again on his jigs, he's signing. Uh, this morning I've decided to change it up a little bit, so I've read it about, found a little bit of a gravel spot. So, eight, eight and a half laps from where I am, sort of on, just on line with the island, um, middle to the end of the island. So what I've done, I've gone with a 12, 10mm manila boilie a piece of fake corn standing and um, tested it looks lovely in the water to be fair it stands really nice and on the other one I've just gone with a um, 10 mil manila pop up so what I've done is made a little bit of a mix of just just pellets sweet corn and some boilies I've added a little bit of garlic to it um, and <laughs> I'd say I spotted it out so what happened basically is first one, fine, it hit the spot perfect. Goes to recast the second one and for some unknown reason the um spawn just snapped mid air, just not the braid, just the spawn itself. Bought it back in, I had the you know I had the swivel and everything was still on just the spawn snap. Um, I was lucky enough the lad next to me, I forgot to get his name to be fair. He's uh, lent me a spawn. So, really appreciate if you watching this lad, thanks very much for that. Um, so, I've managed to get a little bit more bait out into the area and I'm going to sit on that for a day now. I think that's going to be my tactic, so just sitting on that and if we get any fish then I'll just add a couple more spawns to it and we'll see where we go from there. And
Evet. So we're on our last 24 hours now. Kev, Scott, just chilling. Kev's just had a uh, PB car. How heavy, Kev? 18 pound four, better. Lovely fish. Um, he was fishing just to them leads from where he is on peg one. Fishing over to the reeds on a small peach and pepper pop up. Well, guys, it's the end of my session now. Um, one fish for me. What a beast. 77.9 catfish and one for Kev again another PB 18 4 mirror um, Scott's lost a couple on the zigs um, two foots and four foots just don't know, off poles and things like that it is what it is part of fishing so I'm, I've packed away now I'm all set down I'm going early the lads are staying until about three, so what I'll do if if you have anything between now and three o'clock, I'll get them to send me some pictures and any footage if they get any, and I'll add it to the end of the video. If not, guys, nice one for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you on the bank again soon. Take it easy.